if you are looking to represent your data visually and easily compare different data sets, a clustered column chart in Excel is the perfect solution. Hello there, welcome to Excel TV where you can learn Excel and Excel VBA related problems. This is Sabrina and today we will learn how to insert a clustered column chart in Excel. So let's dive in and discover how the clustered column chart is a versatile and powerful tool for data visualization in Excel. Excel charts are an excellent tool for representing any data graphically, rather than by displaying a complicated table with several fields. A clustered column chart is a type of chart in Excel that displays data in vertical columns. Clustered column charts offer several benefits. I'll truly demonstrate how to insert a clustered column chart in the first example. I'll later provide three relevant samples along with some crucial information. Clustered column chart of region-wise quarterly cells. Certain items quarterly cells are reported depending on the US's five regions. Using this dataset, we are now going to insert a clustered column chart step by step. Inserting clustered column chart. Select the whole dataset, go to insert tab, then insert column or bar chart. Choose clustered column from 2D column. You'll see the initial chart. Switching row or column. The initial chart may appear to show data series in the series horizontal axis rather than the quarter. If you look closely, hence we must change the row and column. Right click on the chart and select data. Click on switch row or column and press OK. And this is the output. Adding Excel title and chart title. Click on Excel chart elements. Tick mark the checkbox next to the axis title. Give the axis and chart a title. Adding and fixing data labels. If I click on the data labels, the results will appear with the values shuffled. If you click on the values, the format data levels function will appear on the right side of Excel. Click over the number option, choose custom and choose this format as the format code. The shuffling values have been changed to become visually readable. City-wise monthly variation of cells percentage. We will demonstrate how to create two data series for each category in this example. Let's first study the data set before performing it. Here we have four cities monthly cells. Also each region's share of monthly cells is shown. That indicates information is available for each city's monthly cells in percentage, which can be estimated using the function in cell C30. Here, C5 represents the cells for Houston in January. C5 to C8 represents all cells for January, and the sum function is used to sum the cells amount. In the case, we need to provide the monthly cells and percentage for each city. With this monthly cells data, create the clustered column chart. Click on chart element. Go to more option form data levels. This will display format data levels right side of Excel. Value form cells is checked. And choose range. Once you have set the data label range, click OK. Choose new line as separator. Do the same for the other categories. Finally, you obtain the output which shows monthly cells along with each city's percentage share. 
seasonal difference of product sales. Product sales are provided in the dataset based on the seasons of 2021. This shows how the season of 2021 will see a sharp increase in smartphone sales. I just made the chart as before. For this, go to Insert tab, choose Clustered column from 2D column, then right click on the chart, select Data, and switch Row or Column. Click on Chart Elements, Check mark the checkbox next to the access titles. Give the axis and chart a title. And that's it. Yearly purchase price versus selling price across states. This compares two data series spanning years, one for each category. The following dataset includes purchase price and selling price information for selected items for a 2022 and 2021. We must now make this dataset, make a basic chart for the dataset as the product and year categories are already present in the series, they must be removed. To do this, Right click on the chart and select the select data option to display the select data source dialog box. We must add them as we want to use product and here as categories. This is horizontal axis. So choose edit from the menu, set the axis level range B5 to C12 and then click OK. If I do so, you obtain the result. Create a clustered column chart in Excel is a simple way to visually represent your data. So don't be intimidated. Give it a try and see how effective your data can look. Don't forget to check out the description box for a link to download the practice workbook used in this tutorial. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestion, or feedback, please let us know in the comment section or you can have a glance at xlme.com. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.